find me noodling around with my new toy. It's a pheromone. It's a bit of a cheap pheromone. It digitizes the sound. You can change the uh, you can change the voice of it, and you can also change it so that it reads the fingers better, so you can play proper notes. But I've actually got it on full play mode. And I, it's really fun. <laughs> the kids go woo when I'm trying to change the preset, but. So yeah, I, I've been having great fun with this thing, um, and it's one of the ways I've been enjoying myself with everything that plays down. But anyway, yeah, I've been having enormous fun, and one of the other one of the other things I've been having um, fun with is imagining what it's going to be like when the bookshops open again. And they have. Well, no, that's not an exciting sound. And they have. That's an exciting sound. Uh, and so I went to a bookshop today. I went to my favourite bookshop called um, Any Amount of Books. And I didn't go because I need more books. And I actually wasn't even thinking of getting any more books. In fact, this is all I got. This is... Uh, 13 pounds worth and it involves authors that I've been looking to uh, ooh, authors that I've been looking to to read like the author called Elizabeth Taylor who's not that Elizabeth Taylor ooh. Um, other authors that I've read some of and want to read more of so that was these ones they're going to keep making that noise now so go ahead uh, and then just two because it has a thing where you get five books for uh, for four pound. So uh, one's about laughter. One is late Wobegong days. I've just sort of heard of it. As you can see, I can't actually play this thing. I just like playing with it. And this is my favourite time of day to play with it, just as the sun's going down. The birds are singing, and I, I kind of join in. Just as the birds singing is uh, coming from their heart and not from their brain. I like that one. So yeah, I've been having fun with that. Um, the other, other thing I did while I was in town, I went to see the COVID wall, which is a memorial wall to everyone that died from COVID in the UK. It's a, a whole bunch of pink hearts, and it's on the wall that stretches from Westminster Bridge to Lambeth Bridge, and it goes the whole way. It's really long, and there's so many hearts on it that when you're crossing the bridge to get to it, it looks like they've painted the wall pink, and then you see all these hearts, and you see all the dates. Um, okay, a lot of the dates are quite a long time ago, a lot of people from the 30s and 40s, and, but they're all lives cut short, and it was it was quite moving to walk along that walk, and, you know, it's it's advertised as a 10 minute walk, I mean, I think you're supposed to be able to quite slow walk, as I did, it took about 20, 25 minutes, just looking at all these names of all these people that died, and that was quite moving, um, and then, well, I'm, I'm in the area. I walked up to Buckingham Palace to see uh, if uh, Uncle Philip's got any flowers. And he hasn't got as many as they would have liked, but uh, And then I sat in Green Park for a bit. So that was my day. Essentially, this is a video to say, hey, bookshops are open. 